I am at your service, Captain. to see you. wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. That's done it? Go on. See who else needs some help. Setting up some software. Want to test the computer over there? Help Vladimir code up this system the first time. Now, how did this work again? Now that is some fine teamwork. Perfect. Really help whenever we need to send data back and forth. Hey, you mind helping me weld up some of these panels? <sighs> well, can't win them all, I guess. Ah! Uh, I didn't do it. <sighs> Still need to lift another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. You color the wrong wires. Station showing red. 
nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. I won't leave you hanging, Vladimir. Kor and I can stay with you until the eye is back to 100%. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. get too much underfoot. Don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need the crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. Like we've been gone forever. Who let you on board? Thought Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Oh yes, the rock. He's not selling it. But if you want to hear him laugh in your face personally, go right ahead. Yeah, we'll check with him directly if you don't mind. Go on then. Trade it for some dusty hauling ore from the fringe. <laughs> Was glad when he left. It's all shakes and muttering. Petrov's got a whole little alien zoo in the back. He's asking for trouble with those things. 
but the locks on the cages are pretty high end. Thankfully. Strewn about all over. The good stuff's locked up in a vault for Petrov's own personal viewing pleasure. And before you ask, Petrov's the only one with the keys, so don't try bribing any of the crew. You just waste your money. Vadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, eh? My favorite pastime, eh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Petrov! It's me, Barrett! You dare show your face in my ship again? Hey, you still sore about that? Engines blow up all the time. Ha! You old son of a space flea. It's good to see you. Hey, uh, old pal. <laughs> How about a tour of the vault? Let me wallow in my jealousy one more time. Of course. Come with me. I know. People look at me and say, Petrov, your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection needs its own private viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is painful. But that is the price of security, eh? Huh? Que sera? Just a bit further. This ship and I have been through some adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a demo celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. Itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this 
told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing, devoid of any such enlightenment. Why, yes, he did. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. And it's only fair to warn you. Hands off. I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. We're not pirates, Petrov. We're explorers. Who might do a bit of piracy on the side as a hobby sometimes. What are you... Guards! That's Wait! All, huh? I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! The captain's word is good. Done! Stand down, everyone! Let the nice pirate pass! Petrov says stand down. to chat maybe a few minutes hmm let's get out there and do something do you need me for something
advised. You have been identified as a known criminal. Respond immediately or we will be forced to open fire. I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Stand down and prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Smart decision. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. The vigilance indeed. So many of these fine folks joined Sis Def due to tragic circumstances. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a mess. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. You just sit tight. The commando wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. It appears that you have a background in cyber running. Perfect. Information gathering is one of our top priorities around here. I also see that you mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Huh. You're absolutely right. Well, I'll have my people get right on that. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Actually, that's something new we're trying. I figured we needed to branch out a bit, broaden our horizons. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. While they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we'll have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. Not for me for yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. I'm not coercing you into doing anything. I'm simply giving you a chance to redeem yourself. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Smart choice. 
I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Let's go. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Training a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Still, it makes you wonder, especially with the stories that go around. Like the one about how the deals with informants by rising. Imagine a worse way to go. I know I couldn't. But I wouldn't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your... Breath for a really long time, right? Piracy all across the galaxy. All right, this is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. 
I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. As you were. Okay. Hello. Excuse me. Howdy. Pardon. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. All right, we've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. If you have any questions, now... If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Well, hang on there. 
We haven't even started to negotiate yet. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Glad we could put things into perspective. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Hmm? Do you need something? I sure hope this hearing loss isn't... Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. That wasn't part of our deal. But I bet you're about to say it's a non-negotiable addendum. As a matter of fact, yes. Yes, I am. Non-negotiable addendum. I like that. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place. Transferring to the same division. I swear, the that warning text is still stalls me every time. Sedonia to can have depressing effect on something. Something I can help you with? Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Adla, uh, Adla, Adla. Oh, wait, you mean that Adla? Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? What the heck do you want me to do, then? Huh? I've... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Technically, there are several natural geologic phenomena that can stimulate the blood effect. Oh, what games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. How dare you try and, and, and threaten my family! Hmm. 
No way! I'm already working my fingers to the bone! Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. Huh. Maybe if I rounded up some of my buddies, we could hit him when he wasn't expecting it. Huh. Yeah. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Anything I can help you with, Captain? Hey there. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met her, but she's still one of my best Takes all taps. Have something for me? If you can lift well, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work... I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh. And I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Talk to me. Hey, it's my personal safe.
Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs>